Hello guys, I'm going to do a tutorial showing you how to change Ethan, the third person character in Unity Standard Assets. So first what you're going to want to do is download Unity Standard Assets, import that to your project. Once you do that you should get an error, just delete the simple activated menu script. So once you do that you should be error free. Open up the standard assets you just imported, the folder. Open up characters, third person, prefabs. Go ahead and drag in the third person controller. And then we're going to need a camera as well. So go open up the cameras folder, prefabs, free look camera. In the inspector here, underneath target, just drag in the third person controller we just dropped in our scene. And now I'm going to go ahead and test. So this is Ethan. Everything should be looking like this so far. So now we're going to want to change the model. So to do that, it's very simple. Go ahead and get your model on the asset store or whatever. Just make sure that it's humanoid so it works with our animations because Ethan's humanoid rigged so we're going to need a humanoid rigged model. So I'm going to search up humanoid. I'm going to download this package right here. Shout out sugar pixels. Which I already did so I'm going to open up the folder that I just imported. So here's the prefab. I found the prefab. I'm going to go ahead and drag it right inside a third person controller. I'm going to zoom in so now it should look like this. Our new model is sitting right on top of Ethan. So now we're going to go ahead and find the avatar. The package that we just imported it should come with an avatar so make sure that whatever model you're using it comes with an avatar as well. So find the avatar in the folder you just imported. Select the third person controller and import its new avatar here underneath avatar in the animator controller. So now we're going to unpack the third person controller. We're going to delete the Ethan body, glasses, and skeleton. And we're also going to delete the animator component. If your model came with that, delete that as well. We only need one, which would be on a third person controller here. So now once we do that, should be good to go. So now we changed our model and it works with our animations as well. So to change our animations if you want to use your own just open up the animator controller. Select one of these, open up the blend tree, drag in your animations here. So there you have it. If this tutorial helped you out, please give me a like, a subscribe, and thank you for watching.